And this, I think, is going to turn out to be the hardest thing, not only physically, but mentally. Hardest thing we've ever done. Oh yeah. All right, we just paid for our breakfast. We're walking now. Time to get a seven hour walk on. Mm. It's a little chilly this morning. I'm in my shorts. <laughs> Everyone else is in pants though. Since Maddie and I are on our $60 a day budget, I think we're gonna be a little over that for Everest, but we ended up packing like a lot of food items up and basically any essential that we would need so we didn't have to buy it on the trail because as you go up the mountain, things get a lot more expensive. Like for example, I packed 26 candy bars up so Maddie and I could have one a day, and I paid 40 rupee for each candy bar, and today, Dan bought three candy bars, and he paid 700 rupee. So, we're not even to the Everest Base Camp Trail yet, so stuff is getting expensive. Woo! We thought we were gonna have to go up <laughs> that. Oh, wow, the view is so beautiful. Another involuntary break because of a yak train. That's Lakla. That's where, if you are flying, you would fly into Lakla. So we'll be flying out of that town. We should have just sure. like an hour and a half to two hour hike more to get to it. Oh yeah, Dan, nice pants. Yeah. Nice pants just spread. <laughs> We are three hours into our hike and Lukla is just like up a mountain from us right now. We are not actually going through Lukla, but we're gonna go around it because if we went through, we'd have to climb the mountain and we're not gonna do that. So we kind of just stopped, took a little snack break. Yep. Hopefully we'll be to our lunch location in like the next hour and 15 minutes. If, if we are there in that time, then we'll be right on time. But we really have no clue what pace we're going. We have no idea. So we're gonna keep on walking. We're stuck behind donkeys again. So beautiful. Made it to our cutoff spot. Thank God we're not going up. Where are we going? We're going around Lukla now. I don't know what town we're going to <laughs> for lunch, but oh, this is great news. Team morale is rising. It's our first suspension bridge of the trek. They've, we've heard that these are pretty scary to walk over, so. You nervous, Maddie? A little bit. Yeah. All right, here we go. It's gonna look, it should look pretty though. All right, Dan, you're up. Oh. I did not like that at all. That was terrifying. It wasn't bad, yeah, and the waterfall had super blue water. Hard to see on camera though. What was it for? For like, good luck and fortune on your trek and journey. Then you're up. Good luck. <laughs> Stopping for lunch, the little the little shop owner lady, she gave us all a free banana. Looks like they're on their way out, but should be able to eat it still. It was, it was pretty tough to order our chow mein with egg. The language barrier is real here, but we're excited to eat and sit here for at least half an hour or more. <laughs> I've said it many times, I know. I would change my ways. Maddie and I each get half a candy bar at lunch and half a candy bar at dinner, so here we go. They settled down beneath my feet. I've got it right and I got it wrong. 
wouldn't say that's the worst place in the world to take a nap. <laughs> Come here with me by the fire. I'm so hungry. Oh, I let it go for a little while. So we are leaving lunch now. It was a really well needed break. I think mentally and physically we all just need to needed to sit. That was pretty terrible the hike that we just came from, but should be a little more flat now, which should be much better. I think we have two and a half hours left, maybe. Yeah. We have officially made it to the Everest Base Camp Trail. Um, we're pretty tired, but we think we still have at least another hour and a half, maybe. But it is really reassuring knowing that we're here, and this way is Lukla. That way is the way that we need to go. A ton of people so. coming from Lukla. All right, ready? you ready? Yeah. Let's get out of this crowd. Yeah, it strikes mass. There you go. This is really terrifying. I don't like it at all. I feel like my legs are like shaking. Everyone walking on it, it's like making it shake. The amount of stuff he is carrying is insane. His shoulders must be hurting. <laughs> a spin before we get to our tea house, and it's a big boy. Let's go. <laughs> 15 minute walk. How you guys feel? 15 minutes. I've never been more ready to be somewhere in my life. <sighs> well guys, we have made it into our town for the night. Oh it was about eight hours of trekking today. And doing this, carrying all of your own stuff, the no porter, gives you major respect for the porters that do this. And this, I think, is going to turn out to be the hardest thing, not only physically, but mentally. Hardest thing we've ever done. Oh yeah. Like the highs and lows <laughs> here are but insane. We're gonna find a tea house, then we're gonna show you what a typical tea house looks like. We'll show you our good good old doll bot dinner and what happens at night in the tea houses. Boots are off. It feels so good, but okay, here I'm gonna show you a typical tea house room. Since we have Dan with us, we always get a room with three beds, and here it is. So, um, they're pretty basic. The walls are really thin and there's actually no heat in them. So that's why we have to sleep in sleeping bags every night. Tonight though, insane, we got a double bed, which we have not gotten yet. And then Dan has his little single bed over here. And we actually have um, outlets in this one, which is like unheard of as well. And we paid a whopping 200 rupee for three people <laughs> to stay in here. Um, that's the room situation. Showers, I think, are 300 rupee a person. I'm contemplating. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's been, this is like day three or four without a shower, but I think I'm gonna wait at least one more day, so. Uh, but we will show you downstairs when we kind of go down to get tea. So. <sighs> All right, Maddie and I just took our, our wipe shower. We're allotted four wipes a day for a shower, so. My face gets one, my feet get one, and then everything else gets the other two. <laughs> so, it makes you feel a little bit better. I think I'm gonna save my only shower for Namche Bazaar tomorrow too. But we've made it down into like kind of the common area. This room usually fills up with people every night. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of people here. Yeah. But. They get a fire going, it gets nice and toasty. And it's the only heat that's in the whole building, so it's nice to, you pretty much hang out here until you go to bed. Yep, we play Uno. Dan's a cheater at Uno. 
but this is and it's also important to note that when you stay somewhere at a tea house you're also expected to eat dinner and breakfast there yeah as well that's why I usually it's um, so cheap to stay yep. All right, so since this man is cutting us some deals, we'll um, plug his tea house in, because it seems like a pretty good one, and he's a really great guy, so. So if you're coming through facting, definitely stay here. How do you feel about the fire going now, Maddie? I'm so happy it's going. It's always so cold in here, and then they get it going, and it's just like a little hug of warmth. <laughs> This is our milk tea, and this is what we look forward to every day. Right, Dan? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, our Dalbot has come out. We actually already ate one plate and forgot to film it, but Dalbot here is endless, so you eat as many plates as you want. Usually it's maxed at like two for us because we get so full, but tonight's doll is probably the best we've had. I think it was like 650 rupee a person, so it's getting a little bit more expensive on the mountain. Mine's a bad representation because it looks like it's a mess. <laughs> I'll say something. Dan, how is it? Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so full. <laughs> Dal bot is um, it's served with rice and it has dal, which is like a lentil soup, and then um, it also is usually served with like curry vegetables and stuff. And they actually like live by this in Nepal. They say like dal power 24 hour. <laughs> they like live by it. So uh, we eat it every night for dinner, and it's actually super good. And it's also vegetarian, which they recommend to only eat vegetarian on the trail because meat has to be carried up by yaks, so, yeah. All right, other than that, we're gonna eat dinner, play some Uno, beat Dan in it, <laughs> but that's it for the night, and we're gonna go to bed. So we'll see you tomorrow for probably one of the hardest tracking days of base camp. So see you tomorrow.